Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to share something that I've been looking forward to for a very, very long time, and that is how to control your iPhone using hand tracking with gestures. Yes, it feels almost like magic, it is so cool, and this is all thanks to Apple's new Vision framework, which will be available to developers, and I'm sure we'll see a lot of this integrated into third-party applications coming later this year with iOS 17, and hopefully in the future, we'll see it integrated within the iPhone, maybe to answer phone calls and things like that. So let me go ahead and show you how you can control your music using the hand gestures on your iPhone with hand tracking. It is super cool. Links will be in the description for the application called WavePod. It is under testing right now. It is going to be available hopefully in the future. It is under test flight. You can install it and try it out today. But let me go ahead and show you how you can control your iPhone using hand tracking with gestures. So before we begin, there's a few things worth mentioning here. Of course, this app is still in beta, so it's not perfect by any means. This is is going to get better over time for example it works better with your right hand and the skipping track feature which is using a gesture with your index finger and middle finger together is sort of a glitchy right now so of course as more updates become available these features and tracking will be a lot better and more accurate so let's take a look here at the user interface you have your play forward backwards or track as per usual as you can see right here then you have your airplay options available right here you also have your music options by the way it is compatible with Apple Music. The developer has mentioned that Spotify support will be coming later. We also have a bug report option right here, which is still in beta, of course. And then we have our options right there. So let me go ahead and show you how this works. It is using, of course, the front-facing camera to track. Now, the developer did mention that this is happening offline and on device, so no video feedback is being sent anywhere. The hand tracking and gestures are being held offline and on device, so just keep that in mind. It's something worth mentioning here so let me go to show you again this is going to be a quick demo by no means is this perfect but let me go ahead and give it a try now there is a bit of a learning curve of course you need to learn your gestures in order to turn up or down the volume you need to hold your thumb and your index finger as if you were actually turning a physical knob and you can just turn your hand just like so and it should turn the volume up and down and now in order to skip a track you hold your index finger and your middle finger in front of the camera and this should skip the track and to play and pause all you have to do is hold your palm open on front of the camera to pause and hold it open again to play so let's try the volume first so let's go ahead and click play here and let's try to control the actual volume knob here so let's go ahead and turn the volume just like so so as you can see right there it is tracking my hand and I can start turning the volume sometimes it picks up on the actual gesture sometimes it doesn't as you can see right here I can turn it up and turn it back down just like so so yeah it still needs a lot of work it thought I wanted to skip a track but let me show you that again so the volume knob turn and turn it back just like so it starts turning back just like that kind of interesting to see this happening on iPhone it's something that I thought about for years now in order to play of course I'm going to go ahead and go back to this track so I can go ahead and play by just holding my hand on front of the camera just like so I can click play just like that as you can see sometimes it thinks I'm trying to skip a track but I can hold my hand in order to pause the music and skip the track to the next one as you can see now again skipping track is going to be this gesture here just like so so skipping the track just hold two fingers just like that again play and pause just like so skipping a track just like so let's go ahead and hold that just like that now again I like the volume thing because the volume just gives it so much character just doing this here it's so cool to see this happening on the iPhone but anyway guys it is still of course in beta very much in beta if you want to give it a try all the links will be in the description down below this is going to be wave pod available through test flight to try it out right now no spots are limited so if you want to give it a try now I'm sure developers will continue integrating this type of technology into their applications thanks to Apple's vision framework which is now available thank you for watching guys I hope you guys enjoy the video let me know what you think about this sort of uh, integration into a certain service and applications and would you like to see some of this added to the actual iPhone's operating system like the actual iOS I would like to hear your thoughts on this one in those comments down below thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one peace